Hello Cancer. Um, so I'm going to kind of dive straight into it today and not hopefully waffle on too much but the intuitive messages that were coming through for you as I dialed into your energy. I started off with this little mushroom here. I can see there's like, I never noticed this before but on his, the front of his chariot he's got like this little red mushroom. Uh, so I don't know what that's about. Maybe you grow mushrooms, maybe you, you're eating mush mushrooms right now. I don't know. Um, what have I got? Um, I got the impression that he's kind of like, he's all armoured up, right? And his fist is clen clenched and he kind of looks quite sort of, um, sort of almost like deadpan determined. It's like, I know, it's almost like I know what I have to do. So he's got his sword raised as well. So it's like you're preparing to uh, move forward with something you're preparing to say your piece you're preparing to it's like you're preparing for battle or you're pre preparing to kind of le like lead the charge now um you can see behind him he's kind of got all these it's almost like a city behind him can you see how it's like staggered behind him there the, the turrets so i feel like you feel like you're standing up for a community or you feel like you're um you're the voice of the community or like the, you've got the, a, a group of people at your back. Uh, you feel supported in what you have to do or like you're supporting the people who are behind you, sort of vice versa maybe. Um, it feels like you're self-sacrificing in a way or doing or offering yourself up, um, like you're offering yourself up for service. You're offering yourself up to uh, be part of something greater than yourself. Almost like a, almost like a slightly martyr energy um which is uh, associated with your sign so just be wary about that that you're not coming across as being a bit too a bit of a i don't know just a bit of a martyr just be wary of that i don't think you'd care even if you were because you do feel like you've got some sort of cause that you're supporting or something some, something's got you all fired up it feels um it feels like it's coming from a good place it feels like it's coming from a place where you want to almost self-sacrifice or offer yourself up for something or um like you're not really factoring yourself in in this equation you're doing it for others it feels like um so yeah it does feel like though now it it could either be because there's no movement or you know that might be the reason why you're doing this or you're facing an energy that's very stubborn and like in inflexible or immovable the reason why i'm saying this is because she's got these kind of like or he's got these kind of two sphinxes sphinxes <laughs> in front of the chariot now the chariot these sphinxes should be leading the charge right they should be pulling the chariot forward but they kind of lay there and they look like they're made of stone and they look more like a blockage so you're almost saying i don't know if you're standing up to some sort of uh, someone above you like some kind of leadership it's like you should be leading us you should be you should be moving us forwards but you're not you kind of it's like this it's like the sitting there like being stubborn being inflexible being more of a nuisance more of a blockage than than um you know what they should be doing which is what they should be pulling you forward um so i don't know <sighs> With the uh, the black and the white there on the two sphinxes, sometimes it's horses, sometimes it's sphinxes on this card. Um, it could be that there's kind of two sides. Say you've got like like two bosses, or you know, like yeah, like two bosses, but they kind of they're in a disagreement. They've got a bit of a standstill. There's kind of a bit of a a blockage going on there between them, and you're like right. Well, you're going to have to make an agreement. You're going to have to compromise because we need to get we need to move forwards on this. But it does feel like there's kind of this like stuck like blockage energy and you're ready to kind of like almost like push through it or or push them aside and kind of lead the charge yourself it's like you're stepping up because you are doing it for the people behind you does that make any sense so um as a bit of a side message i got driver's license now the chariot card can mean cars so i don't know if somebody's getting a driver's license or um it's <sighs> that song's actually about a breakup i can't remember who sang it but it'll be down in the description box below um i don't know if it's madison beer um or charlotte lawrence i'm not quite sure i will check it out and, and put it in the description box below uh but yeah it's about um driving up the same streets that you used to um that you used to go down and kind of um reminiscing about the relationship it's like it's the same but different this feeling um and i also got party favor by billy elish so do be careful that you're not um with that mushroom i'm getting a side message it could just be for one person but make sure you're careful about who you're getting um into a car with um you know and obviously don't drink and drive or make sure you know even if it's like even if it's something like sleeping tablets you know even if you're taking something like um um uh, medication but it makes you sleepy be really really careful about um driving or getting into a car with somebody if they've been um 
if there's some kind of thing going on there that could affect their their ability to drive so again that is just a side message but party favor actually talks about um don't uh, i'm not your party favor i'm not going to um let you treat me like something you can use and discard almost so um that song actually came through from another reading i had to go back through my notes to try and find out who it was but it was uh, mars in capricorn last week so um, I don't know if that has any meaning to you I don't know if you've got that placement in your sign now I'm not talking about Capricorn star sign or sun sign it's um it's it's not that I mean it could be but that specific reading was somebody with a Mars placement in Capricorn so that could be meaningful for someone somehow I don't know okie dokie so blah blah so that's all the stuff that I got through intuitively and I'm gonna I'm trying to be very I'm trying to be, uh, it matters to me what, what people think of me and I don't, I don't want anyone thinking that I'm trying to set anything up or do anything underhand or be tricky in any sort of way with the readings. I don't know why this matters to me this much this week, but it's how I'm feeling. So I want to do as much as I can on camera, uh, so that you, you see my process. Um, so, um, yeah, I'm going to, I normally randomise a song as I'm setting up the cards because it helps me to tune into the energy and I haven't done that for you. So the two songs that came through were intuitive songs. I just found myself singing them. Oh, I forgot to mention something. Um, my, um, when I was lighting my joystick, I always light a joystick uh, when I remember to, when I'm doing a reading. And, um, when I went to light it, I was kind of being guided. I didn't feel anything particular like I should use any specific one, but my eyes rested on uh, the patchouli box. Now I use patchouli for love reading. So I thought, oh, that's nice, Cancer, we're gonna get a love reading. But I went to get one of the joysticks and the, the box was empty. So there was no love, there was, there's no love left. So I don't know if there's a situation that you're dealing with where there's no love left, um, but that could be, um, you know, that's sad, but that, that could be something for somebody there. Um, I ended up lighting uh, Palo, no, uh, Nagshampa, Nagshampa, I can't pronounce it. It's just like a standard joystick, um, so um, I, that might be significant for somebody there. Now, this is the song that just randomised at the end of Gemini's reading, so I noticed that it's a crab, so I don't know if there's you're dealing with a Gemini or you're on the cusp of Gemini cancer, but because it's a crab, I thought, oh, I'll mention that in Cancer's reading. A uh, fire starter, maybe dealing with a bit of a fire starter. I heard fire cracker, uh, which is somebody who's quite, um, they've got a bit of a temper, right? Um, okay, so what are we going to be dealing with? What's going to be the theme? What do we need to know going into Cancer's reading, please? Cancer's reading today. That's funny because someone else got a sleeper song. That's Lie Detector by the sleep by Sleeper. That's so funny. Who got that? Who got that? Um, Taurus, and it's funny because I was talking about this immovable energy, so maybe you're also dealing with a Taurus, because uh, they had this thing about their, their throne being made of stone, it was like they were completely, it was like they were doing it their way and there was no movement there, uh, so that could be for somebody as well, um, but they got statuesque by Sleeper, Sleeper as well, and I was saying, wasn't I, I was talking, oh my god, I was talking about be careful, like if you're on medication that makes you tired, um, so just be really, really careful there with that. Just like sleepers, just, just, I don't know. I feel like that's coming through as a warning there. Um, maybe you're dealing with somebody who just sleeps too much. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but the it girl could mean something. Um, uh, beauty queens, maybe. Um, and lie detector now, though. That's really funny as well, because somebody got lady killers. Gemini just got lady killers. So there's something to do with... A common theme that's coming through these readings is is authenticity and telling the truth. As I said, it's like I've got this feeling like I really want to be believed um, coming into my readings this week. It matters to me that people don't think I'm being deceptive. It matters to me that um, oh, my heart just absolutely flipped. That people know that I'm being that I'm being authentic and I'm trying to be as truthful as possible and I'm trying to show you that everything that happens in the readings is genuinely what's happening. Like the read the songs that I get. Are genuinely the songs that, that I get. There's no kind of underhandedness here. I don't. It really, really matters to me. And I, I, I so with that lie detector song, um, it's actually talking about um, it's it's a talking about a guy who doesn't trust women. Um, he thinks that they're all liars. So they, they sort of like mention two women. One is like a beauty queen. You know, she's she's um, 
she's got like movie star good looks um and he doesn't trust her because he thinks that she's too good looking and then the other person is kind of like she wears man's clothes and she's kind of ugly um and he doesn't believe her because she's too clever so it's something to do with like um yeah not it's, it's not trusting female energy something like that okay it's like maybe always finding fault it's maybe it's someone who's too picky and they always find fault with the women in their lives it's like there's there's no such thing as a perfect woman they're all liars i don't know it's a horrible horrible thing but this lie detector and this theme of like honesty and truth this week is it's funny that it's coming through in everybody's readings there we go higher power you've got um higher power and fork in the road so if you've got a choice to make, it's like have faith. Um, everything may not be as it seems. What if you've got on the underlying co-create? You may be like creating something with others, working on a project with a, a team, um, co-creating with spirit, manifesting, but higher power. So it's like spirit's got your back. There is a higher power at work. It's funny, again, Taurus had a, a real thing about like trusting the universe, having that faith. Um so there's, it feels like there's a higher power at work in your life at the moment. Um, at work, maybe something to do with work. I'm also noticing you've got a four and 13. Now, if we're doing numerology and breaking it down, one and three added together makes four. So you've got four and four, uh, 44. Um, so watch out for repeating number fours. Fours are to do with your stability, your foundations. It can be like house, work, um, you know, places where you feel rooted. Now, everything's not as it seems. I feel like you've either got a bit of a skewed percep perception on things. Maybe there are people lying around you, people who are pretending to be something that they're not, or you've got a skewed perception on on reality, something like that. Again, I'm getting kind of like medication or something. It's like, it's almost like a, they've gone into like this Alice in Wonderland kind of place where um, I'm also getting as well. Um, sorry, I just distracted myself because I got it. It says a fork in the road and it's a literal fork in the road. So sometimes some people have a tendency to take things very, very literally. They don't understand inference or they don't understand... Um, uh, similes and metaphors very well some people are, are really quite black and white again you could be dealing with that taurian energy because i was talking about them seeing things in in black and white it's like it's this or it's that and there's no in between so you could be dealing with somebody who um uh, i'm trying to think of something like uh, if you said a leap of faith they may think it's like they may take it literally and think you're talking about an actual like jump um but it's more like it's a saying. So there could be someone who takes things far too literally. Or it, you could be dealing with somebody, um, you know, separately. Different things are coming through for me. You could be dealing with somebody who makes a lot of jokes, a lot of puns. Um, you know, a lot of play, plays on words. Um, but yeah, a fork in the road, it's a choice point. But things aren't all as they seem. Um, you know, that that's a llama. It's, and it's trying to be like a, a, a an, what is it, an elk, an antler, a deer. Um, so yeah, nothing... Everything's a bit, you're going to have to trust your instincts here because nothing's quite as it seems. I feel like people are, I do feel like there's lies around you or you, it's either that people are literally lying and you are sensing that they've got ulterior motives or you have a lack of faith in other people you think everybody else is out for themselves or you know underhand or lying or wearing false masks you've got a bit of a paranoia about the intentions of others but it could be literally everything is as it seems but you're misinterpreting so i'm not quite sure what that is i will read these as your advice cards at the end of the reading but for now i'm just going to bob them over there i feel like i give you a hard time quite a lot cancer and i'm really sorry because again you could be dealing with somebody who's literally trying to pull the wool over your eyes or like um It, it may be you, it may be somebody around you, but somebody with that lie detector, it's like somebody, I think, finds it hard to trust other people. You know, maybe you've been, maybe you or whoever this person is, they've been hurt a lot in the past. So if it's like if you've always, if every woman, like, say this is a guy and every single woman you've ever had a relationship with, your mother, your sisters, your past partners, every single one of them has been... Um, 
you know, a liar, um, deceptive. Um, you know, every woman you've ever seen has, has been like somebody who cheats on somebody. It's like you're going to have a low opinion of, of people. You're going to be very distrustful. But that doesn't mean everybody's like that. It just means you've you've had unlucky experiences. So it could be that if everybody, I mean, it doesn't even have to be in relationships, but it's like if everybody you've ever known has has always had ulterior motives, they've always lied to you, they've always been un inauthentic, and yet then suddenly you meet somebody who's very, very honest, it may be like, I don't know how to handle you. Um, something like that, maybe. Right, okay, let's keep going. An energy then for Cancer's reading. Um, okay, oof, quite a few. So that flipped, and then we've got these as well. So... The buffalo vulture there as well. Um, the vulture, I think, a couple of people have vulture spirit at the end of some of the readings last week. Uh, it, it's, it talks about nothing's ever wasted uh, and seeing things that are bad but in a better light, understanding the motivations of others. Some people could see the vulture as really, really bad, but they have a, a job to do. They, they're kind of like the clean-up crew, right? Um, so... Um, Everything has a role to play. Everything has a purpose. And it's just about understanding the nature of, of, of them, understanding the nature of others. The buffalo is a perseverance energy for me. It's, somebody, it's kind of like the wounded warrior of the animal kingdom. Um, they've put up with a lot. They're kind of getting a bit grizzled, uh, but they keep going. They're kind of very sturdy in that way. The frog talks to me about being um, a bit depressed. It's, it's, I always get, why does it always rain on me by Travis when I see this card? Um, but he's about to take a leap of faith. Uh, the frog did come through for somebody's reading. I keep forgetting which one it was. I think it was the birdcage reading. Yeah, it was the bird birdcage reading. The tell me anything reading if you want to go and check that out, if you feel like that's meaningful. But it's somebody who kind of has a bit of a pe pessimistic view on life or they're in a bad situation and they're ready to jump out of it um, and take a bit of a leap of faith. I'm saying leap of faith. Um, they, I make it, I'm getting a pun. So somebody definitely makes puns because I'm hearing leaf of faith. Instead, because it's a lily pad, it's like a big leaf, so it's like a leaf of faith, which is a weird joke. But um, and then fire ants. Um, uh, the fire ants tells me that somebody's under attack. This is to me, it always represents a mob attack on on social media. So uh, when somebody does something wrong on social media, or they say something that's wrong, uh, and people get really worked up about it, and then they kind of always all. It's like they all want to cancel that person. They all want to attack that person. I feel like um, I've kind of had it to me on a small scale, but when it happens, when you feel like everybody's attacking you, it's quite... Um it's, it, it can be quite distressing um, and it can be quite upsetting um, to be in that place. And it's almost like there's nothing that you can say to make it better because whenever you whenever you try to defend yourself, whenever you try to say something to to explain your point of view, um, people will twist your words because they want to attack, because they, they fired up, they're angry. My heart just leapt. Um, so they're going to find fault with whatever you do. Uh, so there's no pleasing people in that situation. And the more you engage, the, the worse it gets. It's like you dig yourself a hole. So it's, it's horrible. So I would like to say that if you are in one of those moods where you feel like you want to lead the charge, you want to lead a community, perhaps on social media, to attack someone, uh, to call them out for something they've done wrong, just be very careful. Put yourself in their shoes and imagine what that feels like because it's, I mean, you can't, if you haven't had it happen to you, you can't imagine what that feels like because it's, it's scary. And a lot of the people time, I, I think it's worth remembering this, a lot of the time on social media, um, you know, it can just be a normal person. They can, you know, they may live alone. They may ha not have anyone to talk to. They may um, have children. You know, it can be, it can be very, very scary when a community, like, um, you know, when you get attacked online like that, you can make you feel very alone, very scared, very vulnerable. Um, and um, I would, I worry, I, when I see it happening, I always worry about the mental state of that person, whether they're able to cope with it um, and come out on the other side or whether they're going to get hounded literally to death. Right. So I think if you're in that energy where you feel like you want to lead a charge uh, to call someone out, just be really careful that you're not actually bullying. You know, there's a difference between uh, standing up for what's right and um, and attacking someone. There's a big difference. So just be really careful about how you engage with these things. And... Be the peacekeeper as well, I think, in this situation. So, I mean, I hope this isn't you. I hope you're not in the centre of this because I think if you are, just be aware that it's better to disengage, just to take yourself off social media, let it calm down, don't look at the comments, 
don't let it get to you as best as you can um, go and do something else for a while for a few days because you know the next drama is going to happen and everybody's going to go like all those ants are going to turn and go after that next person and it's it's going to it's going to roll over it's going to calm down it always does um, it doesn't even have to be on social media it can be like a fallout with your family it's like you know auntie lynn's going to do something stupid and everybody's going to draw their attention away so um just kind of be just bear that in mind kind of thing um you know, and if you are in that situation, my heart goes out to you because, and it always does when I see it happening, because I think no matter what someone said, um, it's, it's not nice to be attacked, mob attacked, right? It's not, it's not, it's better to be the person who pulls someone aside to DM someone and say, look, um, I think you made a mistake there. You know, I don't like what you said. It's better to do it to one side than doing it because I think if you're the person who's doing it in front of everybody else and encouraging people to go and attack them, it's like uh, you're doing it because you're doing it from a place of your own ego. You're not doing it because you want to make things better or, um, you know, co correct an injustice. You you are you're doing it from a place of ego where you want that person to be to come under attack. You want to. Yeah. Just again, that martyrdom. So just be really careful there. Uh, and I'm sure that's not all of you, but it could just be one person who really, really needs to hear that. Um, so, I, yeah, I really don't like that fire ant card. Um, be the peacemaker, be the person, be the advocate, be the person who explains the points of view of others. Don't encourage other people to attack people online. Okay. Because you know what? It's karma. It's karma. And one day you're going to say something stupid and the mob's going to come for you and you're going to, you're going to know what it feels like. So let's go. Yeah, better, much better to be the peacekeeper. Because if you're the peacekeeper and one day it does happen to you, then other people are going to remember that and they're going to come to your rescue too, right? Uh, the people are going to give you the benefit of the doubt if you've given them the benefit of the doubt. So... Ugh, yucky, yucky energy. I hate that fire card so much. So Cancerian energy then. And I'm not saying that's you. You could it, you could be anyone in this position. You could be an observer, right? It's um it could be a number of things. So uh past emotions, past emotions for cancer, please, for Thursday. I don't know if that's a card that wants to come out, but it's the yeah. So let's take it the nine of wands because it's that buffalo energy. So there's the wounded warrior. Um, I'm going to actually pull all the cards and then interpret, I think, for you. So current emotions, please, for cancer. Sorry, you got a speech again. You do seem to get a lot of speeches at the moment, cancer. I'm so sorry. Um, a lot of the lectures. Uh, five of swords there. And the queen of swords um okay five of pentacles so that's the feeling of being like shut out left out of a cold um feeling shut out from a group uh feeling disappointed feeling like things didn't work out um yeah the need, the need to heal from it the need for support uh so past mental space please for cancer i felt like something came out then and i don't i didn't see it past uh, mental space for cancer Queen of Swords. That's really interesting, actually. And the Five of Cups. Um, current mental space, please, for Cancer. Oh, yeah. Okay, you're in fighting mode. I told you. Five of, You've got the two cards of conflict and fighting and arguments there. So... Uh, yeah just just you may have to just take yourself away and calm down i'm not gonna lie that's uh yeah cancers are in fight mode right now uh future thoughts thank you the hermit there and then three of pentacles there that's working harder on something other people are meant to be working hard with you but you may feel like you're not really being supported um so past action space the magician Current action space, please. Oop, okay. Whoa, the lover's card there tried to hide. And the three of wands. You've also got the seven of wands and the ace of wands there. I'm going to take them, actually, because that's actually making sense to me. So quite a few cards there. This one tried to hide, and these ones kind of flipped over. So um, a little bit of a story going on there. Future action space. Thank you. Uh, three of cups there and justice. Okie dokie. 
So I'm just going to pause for a second while I interpret this and get a good overview of what's going on and then I'll run through everything with you. What's on the underlying here though? The, there you go, that's your card, the chariot. But again, not, there's no movement. But I notice on this card, she's looking a bit more chill, right? She's looking a bit more chill. She's kind of taking a bit of a time out. She's like... It's almost like you've changed your percept perspective from like, I have to do something about this. There's no movement. I'm angry. I'm going to get it done. I'm going to lead the charge. Uh, getting everybody else riled up to like being like, do you know what? Fine. If there's no movement here, I'm going to go and spend my time on myself. I'm going to go and have a bath. I'm going to go and do my hair, make myself look good. I'm going to enjoy this time when things are a bit slower. And do you know what? If you come to me and say, why haven't you done anything? I'll say, because you've been set in my path and I wasn't able to move. So it's almost like rethinking your attitude to the situation i'm seeing it as so yeah i will take a second to get an idea of what's going on and then i'll be back with you okie dokie so in your past emotions you felt like something um something had really drained you you felt like something had been um you've been dealing with something for a long long time and it was really feeling like um you're getting quite burdened by it um, it, it had been like a long battle or uh, a long process and you were kind of getting getting really quite fed up with what was happening. Um, the, with this five of swords and you thought, uh, sorry, five of cups, you've got three fives. So there could have been some kind of um, big change for you around this time. Um, the five of cups talks about um, feeling quite disappointed in some sort of situation. So emotionally disappointed, um, feeling like um, things didn't work out. Um, and like, I kept that you were kind of given a bit of a, a raw deal or you felt like you were given a bit of a raw deal and you're quite emotional about some sort of change that was happening. Um, but with the Queen of Swords here, I feel like, because this is your thoughts, you had a huge amount of clarity about what was happening or a huge amount of you were quite your thoughts were quite clear about your version of what happened uh, so the queen of swords she's got her sword up she's got her hand open you were open to communication you were be, being very really quite logical about the whole situation um you could have been a little bit cold a bit emotionally cold because i think you were kind of dealing with some sort of um disappointment or um just a, a kind of like ugh feeling about things that perhaps hadn't worked out too well but I feel like you were looking forward you were forward thinking um and then in your action space you had this man, man, uh, magician energy so this is manifestation energy um it's somebody who's very capable um and they have the ability to kind of take the dreams and wishes and make them happen so you were trying to manifest something you were trying to um you were trying to kind of make your own wishes come true I feel like you were trying to be take control of, of the situation you, you did try to really kind of um step up here with a lot of, of truth and clarity but the magician card actually talks about um a little bit of manipulation so you were being quite logical you may have in your action space even subconsciously tried to manipulate the situation somehow but it's because you were trying to make something happen um In your current space, there's some kind of, it does feel like there's some kind of, um, it feels like uproar or turbulence or big changes. And, you know, maybe the situation you're in, there's there's some arguments, there's some conflict of ideas, of opinion, or this could all be internal. It could be you battling with something. So you've, your, your thoughts are being ruled by passions here and you're, Emotions are being ruled, ruled by thoughts. So with this Queen of Swords coming twice, it could be that you've gone a little bit emotionally cold on a situation. Um, and I feel like you're trying to get some control over your own your own emotions, your own thoughts here. Um, so in your in your emotional space, you've got the Five of Swords. So this is like, um, you can talk about arguments, a conflict of ideas, um, yeah, verbal disagreements. So with it being in your own, emotions it's like you're emotionally dealing with a situation where there was a lot of conflict there could have been harsh words it's like she's holding that piece of ice as um, or it's a shard of glass and she's using it as a dagger she kind of looks a bit <laughs> a bit wild there in her eyes so um it's like you could have felt like somebody would betrayed you or you could have it, yeah betrayals coming through like emotionally or emotionally cold sharp words somebody could have said something to you it was very sharp um 
it's not a nice energy it's a very icky energy to have in your, your current emotions and then you've got this five of wands in your thoughts so you're thinking about how to handle some sort of conflict or how to approach something where there's a lot of competition you can see that it's almost like i'm seeing this is you you're on this dragon you're like leading that chariot leading the charge and like all these other energies of people who are like coming at you so again it could be you might feel like this this the person at the center of the fire, fire ants, right? Everybody's coming at you, arguing with you, um, telling you you've done something wrong or... <sighs> it just feels like there's a lot of chaos around you, a lot of drama. Uh, and I feel like you're better off not engaging with it. I think if you're going ice queen, that's probably a way of protecting yourself in the situation and of withdrawing from... withdraw. I feel like withdrawing from the conflict is the better course of action to take here um because i feel like with it being the five of wands which is a very i actually feel like i'm getting a headache just talking about this um i don't think with the five of wands in your current thoughts that you're in a position to make clear um rational uh, wise decisions the queen of one uh, swords here this is somebody who is has a lot of mental clarity they're really uh really clear in the thoughts but in this position, this is a lot of conflict, um, hot-headedness, hot right? Uh, it could be like your temper gets the better of you and you act irrationally because you've been overcome by, by feelings of anger, th thoughts of anger. Um, so just be really, really careful because this is a difficult energy right here, right now. In your action space... So the card that was le le was face up was the three of wands. This talks about waiting, wanting a return on your investments or uh, making a decision and waiting to take action. Um, it's You've got this lover's card. So I feel like you've made an emotional choice, a passionate choice. Um, you're following your instincts and your heart in a situation here. Could definitely be involving a, 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 a sexual partner, right? It's the lover's card. Um, it feels like soulmate energy because this is Mars and Venus. Very, very hot, very, very passionate. <clears throat> so making a decision in regards to um, your own wishes and choices, I do feel like you're following your passions in whatever the situation is. You're trying to defend your choices. Again, I feel like you're coming under attack because of something that you're doing, some kind of change that you're making, some kind of decision you're making regarding uh, something new that you feel very passionate about or someone new that you feel very passionate about. So you're being, you're on the defensive. You're... <sighs> Yeah, okay, so it does It does look like you're the one being attacked here um, for following your heart, for choosing choosing things that make you feel passionate and excited. Um, but I feel like you're equipped to deal with this. Just be careful that you don't make impulsive decisions based on, um, based on getting hot-headed, getting angry, getting... Um, feeling like you need to attack in order to be defensive it's much better to take yourself out of the situation and that's what you're doing emotionally over here you can see she's actually got her sword down so here emotionally in your future this is you calming down a bit removing yourself from the situation not speaking she's got her sword down um but knowing your truth holding on tight to your truth right it's like holding on tight to that truth because you're it's like you know what your truth is. You don't have to defend yourself to everybody else, right? The people who love you, who know you well, they're going to come around eventually. They're going to see the light. So for now, withdraw, hold on to your truth and just take some time to kind of pamper yourself and heal. And that's what you're doing in your thoughts as well. Uh, so yeah, definitely withdrawing. I, yeah, absolutely. I think this is the best thing to do, withdrawing from the battle. So um, a lot of a lot of hot-headedness here, a lot of passion uh, for, for good or bad, right? So when you get very passionate about something, you're much more likely to... Um, to Logic's going to fly out the window. Uh, they're giving me a quote. Um, log, uh, it's, it, I think it's um, from the funeral speech that... Um, Mark Antony does for Julius Caesar in Julius, Shakespeare's Julius Caesar. He says, um, logic has fled to brutish beasts, beasts and men have lost their reason. Something like that. I can't quite get the word it word for word, but um, 
men have lost the reason and everybody's been brutish, right? Uh, it's a, a, a jab at Brutus. So you could be dealing with somebody who's who makes like jabs, like verbal jabs, trying to get trying to goad you, trying to get a reaction out of you. Um, so yeah, so you're doing the smart thing and you're going solo here, withdrawing, um, taking that time to kind of distance yourself. You may actually be taking yourself off social media if it's a social media thing. Um, you know, it can be like Facebook, you know, your family all kind of like wanting to have the say and you're just like, Do you know what, I'm just going to, I'm just going to un uninstall the app, not look, I'm going to have a week off uh, for my own mental health. I do actually see my cancer friends saying that sometimes it's like I, I need to look after my mental health I need to disengage <laughs> um so yeah so going solo here taking some time to kind of do a bit of soul searching see it's really cold and icy again you, you, I feel like you're going ice queen but it's probably for the best um yeah figuring out what your truth is shining that inner light uh doing the soul searching pampering yourself um and being a lot better off for it I think um it's like taking the higher ground. It's like being the bigger person, taking the higher ground, you know, being, you know, setting a good example for everybody else as well. It's like, I don't have to engage. I know my truth. And I'm going to, instead of wasting time, like arguing with you, I'm just going to go and have a, a nice hot bath. <laughs> yeah. Disengage, disengage. So, um, then in your action space, it's like, uh, <clears throat> I think you're going to celebrate here. I think you're going to have something to celebrate. Uh, justice is here. So this tells me that, um, you know, justice will find the truth in the, in the situation. The scales will be balanced. Um, I'm also noticing as well the two cups pouring into one cup here. And she's kind of like shining this light between the two into the one. So with it being the light being shone on the sun, I'm seeing a sense of clarity here, a sense of things being weighed, uh, a sense of uh, people coming back together. If people have been... Um, pushed apart or drawn apart or um you know there's been conflict it's like you know people come back together and celebrate together um just I, I'm just thinking because I said funeral speech and I had that funeral um that funeral reading uh the the yeah the, I think I called it funeral speech uh, a couple of weeks back um and this feels like the wake maybe like getting back together with people but it's getting to it's like um do you know what it almost feels like a tower moment the tower moment energy scorpionic energy excuse me it comes through to get rid of the things that don't work for you anymore again you've got like five three uh three fives here so changes um if you're in a situation say you've got a friendship group right and some of those people are willing to stab you in the back some of those people aren't really your friends it's like it takes a bit of drama for people to show the the true colors you know for the real the real motivations to come out again you had this you, you were right all along you were absolutely right people are showing the true colors now um you see you're seeing things clearly now and it's because there's been this controversy everybody's shown the true colors everybody's you know shown the true allegiances the true motivations and it's like okay yeah it might have hurt especially if it's like friends who stabbed you in the back yeah it might have hurt but you know what you're better off without them let them go let them go because the people who will be left you know again it's this true colors thing um you know the people who are still there they are your true friends they're the people who understand you on a soul level they're the people who are meant to be in your life so do you know what if it goes from a a group of friends and it's uh, a group of five friends two of them stab one stabs you in the back one of them you know acts like an arse um let them go and just have you and the other two friends who are like do you know what we get each other we didn't need them anyway you know good riddance to bad rubbish um so yeah justice karma you know it's gonna it's gonna be fair the outcome is gonna be fair just really getting all this stuff about like coming into alignment as well just because the chariot card having like it always has like the black and white sphinx in this case it's silver and gold uh so it's like the reason why you can't move forwards yeah okay that makes a lot of sense with, with what i was saying up here it could be like you know i was saying for an example it doesn't have to be this but i was saying it's like say at work you've got two bosses um and you need them to make a decision it's like you need them to sign the contract so that you can all move forwards but they're too busy arguing right they're, they're arguing they're at loggerheads so it's like you have to bring them together so yeah be the peacekeeper be the negotiator in the in this in it if you want things to get moving bring things into balance because it's like either either they need to come together 
oh god yeah it feels like people being difficult it's like either you, they need to come to some sort of agreement they need to come together right the cups pouring into one cup um or you need to cut them both loose so that you everybody else can move forward is the way it feels yeah but i feel like because this is a future action space it feels like it feels like there's going to be balance. It feels like the two energies are going to come together. There's going to be an agreement made and you're all going to be able to move forward together. That's how it feels. Yeah, two of pentacles balance again. Um, so cool. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Let's read you the advice then on those two cards. So higher power. I'm going to actually going to stop and restart because I'm approaching the 40 minute mark. Oh God, I'll tell you what, Cancer, it feels stressful. I feel really bad for you. I'm sorry that I gave you a hard time because I don't think it's you. I think that, I think the only thing that you need to know is that it's not your fight. It's not your argument. You don't have to pick sides. It's better to just take yourself out of the situation, right? <laughs> take yourself out of it. Be the balanced person. Take the middle road. Yeah, just like go and go and take the time to, to to treat yourself, you know, like if they're busy wasting time, go and take the time off to, you know, do the things that you need to do. And when they've sorted themselves out, you know, then it's better because you don't want to be like taking sides and like, you know, burning your bridges. Um, it's like let them withdraw from the drama, let them fight it out. And when everything, when the clouds clear, then you can come back out and kind of. Um, you know, looking great as well, <laughs> looking looking like blooming Cleopatra on a chariot, talking about Julius Caesar, you know, like, um, you, you know, looking fine and, uh, you know, smelling like roses because you didn't get involved. It's definitely the better. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Withdraw. Um, disengage. <clears throat> so conscious contact with a higher power, the presence of the divine, seeing source energy in all things, committing to a partnership with spirit. This card reminds you that you are more than a person trying to get ahead and make things happen for yourself and others. Oh my god. Oh my god. Isn't that exactly what it says, right? This card reminds you that you are more than a person trying to get ahead and make things happen for yourself and others. I said that you were trying to like clear the way for other people. <clears throat> you have an immortal soul and are gifted with a human life through which a higher power can express itself. At this time, you need to be conscious of your connection to spirit and foster it through prayer and meditation. Ask, what is the highest good of all? How can I serve? No way. I was actually, because I was saying it's like you were offering yourself. I was actually visually seeing um, a, a card from a deck that I haven't got out. It's called the Archetypes. Uh, tarot by Kim Kranz um, and there's a card that's called the offering it's like somebody being of service to others and that's what they were showing me when I was getting all the stuff at the start of the reading and it's like literally like I love it when it validates what I'm seeing how can I serve then get out of your own way <laughs> get out of your own way um, and trust that there is a plan for your life more wondrous than you can ever know you are always protected and divinely directed so if there is some sort of blockage if the wheels have stopped moving don't worry take you know take that time to have that break because it's like um you know rejection is god's protection you know if if the world puts obstacles in your path then um you know it's because something's being sorted out it's like <clears throat> the universe has to juggle a lot of people right and some people are ready before other people are. And sometimes things need to be resolved before everybody can move forwards together. So, you know, if, if it's like it's not your fight, just absolutely just go and enjoy the extra time to like do what you need to do. Um, time to make a decision. Considering the consequences as you prepare to act. Owning up to your obligation to make a necessary choice. Hmm, that's interesting because I was saying take the middle ground. Um, maybe you feel the pressure to make a choice, but maybe you don't have to. Every choice has a consequence. That's what I was saying, though. I was like, if you pick a side, then you're going to like fall out with that other person. Um, you've arrived at a fork in the road and are being asked to come to a decision. So maybe you're literally being pressured to make a decision now. Maybe you've been, you know, you've got two friends who are getting used to pick sides. It's like, I really feel like you need to say it's not my fight right it's not my decision to make I, I really feel like you need to withdraw um will you further your dreams by uh choosing left or by choosing right will you take the road less traveled or the one well worn by others who have come before you this is your choice and yours alone to make circumstances and other people will not make it for you 
Be present and do not avoid this junction, for it is an important crossroads. Take heart, as no matter which path you choose, you will have a rich and meaningful experience. Now, I'm going to say that, I'm going to say that, okay, maybe you need to make a choice. But maybe you don't have to make a choice right now. Maybe you can sit back and relax, withdraw, give it time and see if... And just see what happens. Just wait for people to reveal the true motives. Because I think, if I feel like you are under pressure to make a choice, right? You're under pressure to take action. Um, and normally when somebody's pressurizing you to make a choice, it's because it suits them better for you to make a choice, right? It suits them better um, to know where you stand. And you're almost being told to kind of, you know, say, you know, maybe you, get, you have to sign a contract but you don't know, like, you feel like there's something unseen. So it's almost saying it's okay. And you're probably going to be respected more if you say, oh, absolutely. Okay. I'll make a choice. Um, I'm just going to take this contract away and make sure I have a, a, a good read of it. Um, you know, get my solicitor to have a look over it. Um, and I'll get back to you next week. Right. Buy, buy the time, buy the time. And if somebody's trying to pressure you, it's probably because they've got ulterior motives. <laughs> right. Okay. Or at least that's what you're suspecting. There's no harm in waiting, right? There's no harm in giving it another week um, and just seeing how things play out because I don't think you... Just just trust that the higher power is there. And if you still have to make a decision in a week, you still have to make a decision in a week. At least you've, at least you've had a bit more time to think about it, right? You're not being pressured by whatever this... Don't make any decisions if this is the energy because uh, it's not going to be a good decision based on, on that. So... Can we get a song, please, to close out this reading for Cancer, please, for Thursday? So the people who are watching this reading who are really resonating with it, what do they really, really need to hear, please? What's the best song that you can give them right now? Talk show host by Radiohead. Um, okay, whatever that means to you. It's from the song Romeo and Juliet, uh, the, um, the one with um, Claire Danes and Leonardo DiCaprio. Um, Immerse your soul in love, it says. Uh, street spirit fade out. Talk show host, radio head. So maybe somebody's going on talk radio or something. I don't know. Um, take it as it resonates. Leave it if it doesn't. Uh, go and watch the video. Go and look up the lyrics. Uh, see what pops out to you. Whatever emotions it, it, it kind of draws out of you, even if it's like, what? <laughs> um, there's probably some sort of message in that. So do a little bit of analysis there. There's probably something to it okay so um cancer i hope you've enjoyed this reading i hope it was helpful to you i'm sorry if i gave you a bit of a hard time again i don't know why you keep getting the lectures it's i pick up on the energy around you so if people around you are being a bit pushy a bit a bit lectury i am sometimes going to fall into that as well so i'm really sorry for that but again it's it's part of the channeling um yeah, if I were you, I'd, I'd, I'd hold on to your truth and withdraw. That's what I see you doing. And it looks like it works itself out. Um, so best of luck with that. Um, yeah, I am on your side. I am on your side, Cancer. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, wait, leave me a like if you like. Share with friends if you think it's their story. Uh, leave me a comment if anything particularly resonated and you're comfortable doing so. If you want to be a stealth watcher, that's absolutely fine. All that business. And I'll see you again soon. Take care, Cancer. Bye-bye.